Good morning everybody, Nancy here from Loombishes. Today we will be making the Yorkie pencil topper. If you want to see how many bands you need to create this pencil topper, check the description below this video, please. Uh, also subscribe if you haven't done that already, so you will keep up to date about all my tutorials. So let's start with this Yorkie pencil topper. We're going to create the ear first. I will turn my loom for this so you can be anywhere on your loom. Grab your main body color. That will be dark brown for me. The ear needs to be completely double looped. So double loop a dark brown band. Then grab your caramel. Also double looped. And another one double looped. Now grab your dark brown again. Oh, one lower. Is it here? Caramel again. All singles double looped. This one needs to be placed diagonally. This will be the ear. It's very tiny. Grab a single caramel band. Wrap it around four times to create a cap band. Grab another single caramel band, wrap it around three times as horizontal band. This will be tight. But it has to be. And another caramel band, double looped. There. This will be the ear. So go behind your cap band. And loom everything over. until the ear is finished. Carefully remove this from your loom, a tiny bit. Grab two different color bands to tie off the ends of the ear. Create a slip knot. And then remove it from your loom completely. You have to make another one, but you can make that exactly the same. So simply create two the same ears and get back to this point. We will continue with the top of the head. Two main body color bands at a time. them diagonally. All two bands. Now we have to grab the hook and we're going to place some looped caramel bands to create a sort of eyebrows. So grab a single caramel band, wrap that around your hook twice and do that two more times. Simply double loop it on your hook and hold it with your finger so it looks like this you should have six loops on your hook right now and we're going to slide it over onto these bands so the Yorkie will have eyebrows and replace the bands we have to do this on the opposite side as well so three caramel bands Double loop it on your hook. And place it on the opposite side. Slide it onto there. And replace the bands. 
push down a bit. <coughs> then we're going to place two horizontal bands of the main body color here. Then we need the ears, so grab your ear. Stick your hook through like this. So make sure you have it this side loose. Then we're going to slide this ear over on this side and replace. But you have the loose end on the opposite side. We have to do the same thing with the other ear, but stick your hook through the other side of the ear. Like this. Hope you guys can see. And slide it onto that band, those bands also. There we go. Now we need to place two bands again as horizontal bands. Make sure those tying bands do not get stuck. Place it here. Try to keep the ears in front. But it can be a bit difficult to do so. As long as you can pull them upwards after you loomed. So this is about it. A single main body color band wrapped around four times. To create a cap band here. And this will be the top of your Yorkie head. So let us loom. Go behind that cap band. Grab the first two bands you come across, loom over, grab the next, loom over, grab the center row. This can also happen with you guys, there is a caramel band in between. It's not a big of a deal. So, continue looming up the center entirely. And the sides also. We do have to place the ears. First loom over. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. Like this. Now we're grabbing those ears there, get them on top, stick your hook through that set that is not attached yet. You can remove the tying band, have it through from the back to the front, then lift up these bands, only the top two loops, <coughs> and slide it onto there. Replace. And do the same thing on the opposite side. There we go. Pick up those two loops and slide it onto there. Grab three tying bands again and tie off the top of your jerky head. You might have noticed the ears are differently than we are making now. We will add those tiny, uh, well, bands, but they need to represent hair, the furriness. Um, we will add that after we finish the pencil topper. And I will show you how to do that, of course. So remove this carefully from your loom. This will be the top of the head. So cute. This looks so cute. Uh, you can remove the tying bands from those ears. You don't need it anymore. So there we go. You can stick your hook through those loops and pull on it a bit. Opposite side also.
<clears throat> Doesn't matter. So this will be the top of your Yorkie head for now. <coughs> Put it aside. And let us continue with the middle portion of the head. Use two bands at a time of your main body color. Going to create the first hole in the pencil topper. I always try to place my bands without a twist, mostly. Still two bands at a time. And now I do have to check in the center. Place three of your main body color now here in the center. And that's about it for the main body color. One, two, three, four. Yes. Um, we're going to place double looped bands now. So I will turn my loom in order to do so. Uh, this will be uh, handy for you too, I guess. So turn your loom, grab your caramel bands. Double loop <coughs> a single band here. And double loop a single band here. On the opposite side also. Then grab a single main body color band. <coughs> double loop it there in the center. And another caramel band. Single one double looped here, and then place a single double looped caramel, caramel band diagonally and on the opposite side as well. Now we have to add some, well, hair to be honest. So grab your caramel bands, do the same thing as for the eyebrows. So three single bands, double looped around your hook. Then place them on this double loop band. Slide them onto there, replace that band. And we're also going to do this on this band, but we're going to use two caramel bands and not just one, uh, three. <laughs> so two caramel bands looped around your hook, slide them onto these. As you might guess, this has to be done on the opposite side as well. Doesn't matter in what order. Simply loop two bands around it, slide it onto there. So also two singles double looped there. And we need three on that double loop band before. So three singles double looped will be placed here. Replace. Yeah. I'm going to place the Horizontal bands now, so grab a single caramel band, double loop that. Single caramel, double looped. Two caramel bands placed here. And two horizontal bands again of your main body color placed here. Now we're going to create the eyes. So grab your eye color, 
mine are here. Wrapped it around twice. Grab a black band, wrapped it around four times. Grab that eye color band again, wrap it around twice more. Grab your main body color, double loop that band, and get your eye onto that band. This can be a bit tricky. Get it all on that double looped brown band. Um, then we're going to place it exactly at the same spot as all my other uh, pencil toppers from the fourth at the side to the fifth in the center. I will have to turn my loom again, otherwise my eye will face the wrong way. So place the eyes like this because this is the snout, so let it point forward. Create a second eye and place it on the opposite side. Of course, I created mine already. And I'm going to place it on the opposite side. Like this. So yours should also look like this. And I believe that's it for the middle portion of the head, besides the nose band. So grab a um, single black band. Uh, if you have uh, those round bands, this absolutely looks the best to create noses. They're a tiny bit shiny, which make um, perfect noses for dogs. So wrap this around four times. On your hook, uh, loom, not on your hook. And I think we can loom already. Yeah, we can go behind your cap bands, grab the first two bands you come across, loom over. Next set, loom over. Oops, and the center. Loom until you reach the eyes. Stop looming because we need to attach the top of the head here. So don't continue looming there. Loom up the sides. Stop there. Huh. <clears throat> okay, I need to fix mine. Please continue uh, looming. Uh, this is not fun. My caramel band snapped here. So I really have to replace that, otherwise I can't finish it. Please continue looming or wait until I fix this. This can happen, especially with those caramel bands. And to be honest, these bands are quite old. So yeah, it's not that weird day snap. So. We're simply going to try again. Replace everything. Try to remember in what order. Otherwise it will uh, look weird. So. Ah, seriously? Oh gosh. Well, okay. Okay. This really ain't fun. This way. This is actually kind of hard to get this right now. Oh 
gosh, can I do this like this? Oh, I'm going to try. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? Get your nose on there. As you can see, you can fix everything, to be honest, but I do have to loom this again. And hope it won't snap this time. One more time. Sorry, guys, but this can happen. So loom up until uh, here next to the eyes. I am going to remove this because I don't want this to snap uh, again. Please don't. So I will remove most of the double loop caramel bands already. Like this. Now grab the top of your uh, Yorkie hat and stick your hook through. Have it upside down. Have it upside down. So the ears are facing downwards. Stick your hook through the first set in the center. I am going to pull this cap band outwards a tiny bit. It's quite tight, mine. Stick your hook through the first set in the center. Make sure you have two loops on both sides so you are through the set correctly. Well, it's upside down again, so reach inside the eyes here, grab those two bands, slide the head through down, hold that head down and loom over. Also loom these bands immediately and these two. Then continue looming up the side. Continue looming up. Loom diagonally. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Grab those two bands. Again, get inside. Grab the top two. Do I have two? Yes. Or, ah, oh, no, I have three. You get back there. So grab those two, loom diagonally, and stop at this point because we need to attach the top of the head. So remove the snout partially from the loom so you don't have to stretch the top of the head too far. And we're going to flip this over like this. And we're going to attach those three loose ends. Where's my tiny end there? To those three leftover bags here. So we're going to attach that. Simply get it around there and loom over the last set. Also on the side here. Can be a bit tricky. And also loom over this set. The final set on the side. And loom over the final set here. Grab three tying bands again. Tie off at the end. And carefully remove this from your loom. There we go. Stick your hook through the bands you pulled through the top of the head. Make it a bit more loose because the eyebrows were gone. So stick your hook through the eyebrows, pull on it a bit. Same thing on the opposite side, pull on it. Doesn't have to be that neat. But like this. Otherwise, the eyebrows will stay um, 
in between and then it looks like a completely other dog so like this remove the tying bands i use the same color but remove the tying bands you used oh i really have to check don't remove the wrong ones like this so you have three tying bands left and then we're going to continue with the bottom jaw because this looks extremely weird <laughs> this way so put him or her aside this looks also a bit weird You can also stick your hook through these and sort them out a bit, but put this aside. We're going to do bottom jaw. We're going to start with two bands at a time of your main body color. Two, not three. So, two there. And we're going to create the second hole for the pencil topper. All still two bands at a time. There we go, the rest will be double looped, if I'm right. Yeah. But you can place horizontal bands already. Two bands also here at the top. Then we won't forget about that. So turn your loom, we're going to place double looped caramel bands and a couple of your main body color. I will start with the main body color, so double looped brown band here. Single double looped. Another single double loop. This one is very thin. We'll get another one. Now grab caramel and place one there. The rest will be with single caramel bands, double looped. Just like we did with the middle portion of the head. These are also quite thin. Oh, I really hope. They won't snap this time. So, all singles double looped with caramel bands. And like this, grab a single caramel band, wrap it around four times to create a cap band here. We're going to place some uh, furriness also uh, on the bottom jaw, but this will be just well, not that much as we did on the upper jaw. So grab a single caramel band, loop it around your hook three times, like this, and slide it onto that diagonally band there, and replace. Again, same thing, single caramel, triple loot around my hook, place it here, and we're going to do that again, single, triple loot around your hook, place it here. If you don't like this, you can always remove it by clipping off these bands at the bottom jaw here. But I do think it's cute. Maybe you can remove this one. But you can remove it. You can't add it. So just create it like this. And if you don't like that last loop there. You can always cut it off. With scissors. So do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. 
This isn't very clever of me doing it like this. Oh, I'm gonna try and see if we can reach them. So, same thing again. Place it here. And another time. Place it here. Then we're going to place a horizontal bend, single caramel, double looped here. And another one, single caramel, double looped. And another one, single caramel, double looped for the bottom jaw. We also need to make the tongue. So grab your pink bands. Very simple, two pink bands at a time. Two there, two there. Grab a single pink band, wrap it around three times. And this will be the tongue. Loom this. And leave it on your loom. No need to remove it. Um, yeah, I guess we're ready. Yeah, we are already. So let us continue. Go behind this kip band here. Grab the first two caramel bands you come across. The next two. Now loom up the center until here. Grab your tongue, place that tongue here, let it face that way. Then go inside here and grab the first two bands you come across. I do have to turn my loom. I can hardly see what I'm, I'm hoping I have the right ones. Yes, I have. So loom those diagonally and loom those diagonally. This is quite tight because of that double loop bend here. Loom up the sides. So go behind everything. Loom up the sides until you reach this bag. Do not continue. Or do we? No. Stop there. Also do this on the opposite side. I am going to remove this already because I don't want my bands to snap. So it's optional. You don't have to do this, but I will remove it until here. Grab the top of your Yorkie head. Have it like this. Stick your hook through the brown bands on the side of the eye, but make sure you have these two and the bottom two of that stitch. So don't stick your hook through like this beneath the eyes. This will look weird. You really need to look at the stitches on the side here. Get these two and these two. Yes, stick your hook through. You can either place the head onto this back. Come on. Make sure you have all the loops. You can place it onto this pack and loom over. I will try to do that now. This is always difficult for me to see. I basically have that camera right in front of my face. <laughs> so for me, it's hard to see what I'm doing. But that's not the point. It's the point you guys see what I'm doing. So loom over and you can actually continue looming. Make sure you go behind all those bands. Loom over and stop there. Now we're going to attach the other side. Same thing. Stick your hook through the side of that stitch. Don't grab the horizontal band there in between. And yeah, either place it around this peg and continue looming or... Well, let's do that. Place it onto there. Stick your hook inside. 
that pack and continue moving up. Loom upwards, loom diagonally, then grab those two bands here. These have to be in order, otherwise your pencil topper will fall apart. Loom over once more, once more, and once more. Now stop looming, remove most of the pencil topper from your loom. Not completely, we still need to attach. Remove the tongue also. Like this. Now we're going to attach those three loose ends to those three pegs there. Let us try to stick your hook through correctly. I am going to remove my tying bands already. So I also know I have that stitch on correctly. So loom that last set. Now, do the sides also. I am going to leave those tying bands. And yeah, and then I will pull it through because these are a bit more tight. And the other one. You can either pull the band through or place it here, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have all the bands around that bag. Grab the bottom two. And loom over. Remove the tying bands. And then we're going to make slip knots with these bands, the last sets. So it's quite simple, but stick your hook through, remove it from the pack and get the bottom two loops through the top two loops. And we have to pull tight. That's it, nothing more to it, so. Make sure you do that. So you create slip knots in the same color and we will hide those bands inside the head. There we go. Remove the pencil top from your loom. Yay! This looks so cute. Now I have one with blue eyes and one with green eyes. So, what color eyes did you pick? I would like to know. So place that in the comments below if you want to. Uh, well, we're going to hide those uh, tying bands inside the head. Stick your hook through somewhere. Try to get your hook uh, clear of other bands while pulling this through. Try to follow where the knot is so you can... Oh, I have a lot of extra bands uh, on my hook inside. Doesn't matter, it works anyways. And here we go. Oh. Come on. Yes, there we go. Push it back inside the mouth, pull a bit on the tongue. So those bands are hidden right now, <coughs> but we're going to make some extra hair for the ears. So, grab your loom again. Grab two caramel bands, place them like this. Grab a main body color band, single band.
pull it underneath grab it on your hook again and pull it through and create a slip knot approximately in the center of those two caramel bands pull tight remove this and this will be the extra hairs in the ears I will show you how to attach it simply stick your hook through in the center of that ear you can basically see a tiny hole there stick your hooks there from the back to the front grab those grab that single brown band now you have to kind of squeeze it and pull it in between that ear so it will stay like this a tiny bit and then simply pull that single brown band through some bands here really doesn't matter what bands just grab a couple pull that band through I'm not even checking what bands I'm using doesn't matter simply try to weave it through inside that head same thing we have to do on the opposite side so create another set like this you can also do this on just by hand without using your loom same process stick your hook through yeah that's correctly pull that main body color band through kind of squeeze it a tiny bit to get it inside that hole squeeze and pull don't pull too hard otherwise you will pull it through but you can do it again like what's happening here right now <laughs> you have to get it in the right position so don't pull on it too hard like this and then also hide this band kind of maneuver it through the back of your pencil topper I mostly use my horizontal bands to pull it through something like that there we go then we need oh did I really forgot my scissors I have them here I hope yeah I do and then simply uh, clip these bands loose you can also leave them if you like but this looks better in my opinion so that's about it and there you have your finished a pencil topper you can also use my other dog bodies to create your own body uh, for this Yorkie so find a breed that looks like it um, well by size I guess and then um, simply follow the instructions create the neck onto here so don't tie this off like I did now with those last bands but leave them and use tying bands and you can just add a neck to it and create a Yorkie that way you will hardly see the hole and if you done my tutorials you know you can also place bands just straight on and loom that way so don't simply don't create that hole and you can uh, actually create your own Yorkie with body um, well I hope you enjoyed this I certainly did and now I have two of them so um guys thumbs up please if you like this tutorial and uh, still comment below if you want uh, another breed uh, i will make a pencil topper first and i don't think i will ever do whole dogs again but i'm not sure so border collie is also something um some breed i will try uh, to create and design for you guys so 
Stay posted, uh, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done it already, and uh, well, enjoy, have fun guys, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!